Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to install or reset macOS operating system on your Mac. This knowledge could be useful if you experience issues with your current installation or when you need to update to a newer version. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. There are a few reasons why you might need a clean installation. You may wish to reinstall the operating system to fix certain problems with your Mac, since clean installation can be helpful if your computer doesn't work properly. The clean installation allows you to delete old files that have been accumulating for years before installing the operating system onto a freshly formatted hard disk. Also, you should perform a clean installation before selling your Mac or giving it to a new owner. This way, you can remove all your personal data and factor reset the computer. Whatever your reason, reinstalling macOS can help to solve a number of issues. Until recently, reinstalling the operating system was useful if you wanted to fix certain issues passed through your Mac. But now, this method makes little sense. If you feel your computer is experiencing certain issues, just reset it without reinstalling the system. macOS can't be modified by any user-installed software. That is why system reinstallation is only required when macOS refuses to boot. There are several ways to run a clean installation for macOS. A typical method involved creating a bootable copy of the macOS installer on a USB drive and then formatting the hard disk before installing the operating system. Another method is even simpler – using macOS recovery to reinstall the operating system. It will help you restore operability of your computer even without using a bootable pen drive with macOS. Besides, if you use macOS Monterey or a later version or on M1, M2 or Intel processor with T2 security chip, there is an option to reset the system without reinstalling. This method will help you get a clean operating system – it's a kind of a factory reset option. For starters, let's find out how to reinstall macOS with a bootable USB drive. Before you proceed, make sure you have backed up all important data. This can be done with a time machine or in some other way. Also, make sure that you have internet access to download a required macOS image. You will need a flash drive with a capacity of at least 16 GB. Download the macOS image from App Store. In the search field, type the version of the operating system and click Get, then Download. Wait for the download to finish. After that, create a bootable USB drive with the help of terminal. Open Launchpad – Other – Terminal Type the following command. You need to specify the version of the operating system and the name of the drive where the system image should be written, that is, your USB drive. After that, press Enter to continue. When you see the message that this volume will be erased, type Yes to confirm this action. When it's complete, Connect the bootable USB drive to the Mac where you need to reinstall the operating system and start the computer. To boot from the USB drive, press and hold the Option key until you see the choice of boot device on the screen. Choose to boot from the USB drive. 
If you see the following message when booting from the USB drive, which says, Security settings do not allow this Mac to use an external startup disk. You can change this by restarting and holding down Command R to open macOS Recovery and then choosing Startup Security Utility. Then you need to configure security options. To modify them, restart the computer while you press and hold the key shortcut Command plus R. In the Recovery window, open Utilities – Startup Security Utility. At this stage, you may be asked to enter your Apple ID or macOS password. Check the box next to Medium Security and below Allow booting from external or removable media. Then click on the Apple icon and boot your Mac while holding down the Option key. When the security settings are modified, you will be able to boot from removable media. Choose the bootable drive. After that, click on Install macOS, in my case it's Aventura, and then click Continue. Agree to the terms of the software license agreement. Now choose the disk where to install the operating system and click Continue. In the course of installation, your Mac will restart several times. As a result, you will get a computer with a clean operating system. Now you have to configure it, choose your region, language, keyboard layout, and so on. This method will also help you if you need to install a macOS version which is earlier than the one you are using at the moment. Just download the corresponding bootloader from App Store. One more effective way to reinstall macOS is to use the integrated recovery mode. MacOS Recovery is a specially designed feature that lets you recover the operating system even if your computer can't boot automatically. This mode can be used to reinstall the operating system, clean your MacBook, reset system settings, recover data from a time machine backup, and so on. For starters, shut down your computer, then hold down the keys Command plus R for Intel Mac or the Power button for Apple Silicon and start it again. Hold down the key or buttons until you see the Apple logo on the screen. As the computer boots, the macOS Utilities screen will appear where you can choose the necessary option. Restore from Time Machine – it lets you recover the operating system and data from a previously created backup file. Reinstall macOS – it lets you reinstall the operating system without removing your files. This utility – it lets you check, restore or erase disks and partitions on your computer. Safari – if you have an active internet connection, it will help you find additional information on the Apple support website. In the recovery mode, Safari plugins and extensions will be disabled. To connect to the internet, click on the Wi-Fi icon in the upper right corner of the screen, choose a network and enter your password. Now the recovery mode is connected to the internet, so if necessary, you can use the browser or the operating system will be able to download additional software installers. If you want to erase all data from this Mac before installation, open Disk Utility. To erase all data, you should delete the volume Macintosh HD. Depending on the version of your operating system, there may be several volumes. The most important thing is to never delete the boot partition, but usually it's relatively small and has an appropriate name. After formatting the hard disk, press Command plus Q to go back to macOS Utilities and then click Reinstall macOS. If you don't want to erase the disk, you can click on Reinstall macOS to start this process immediately. Click Continue. And agree to the terms of the software license agreement. Now choose the disk where to install the operating system and click Continue. The reinstall process may take some time. When it's complete, you will see the sign-in screen. Now you have a fresh and clean macOS. 
This method will also help you to restore the system's operability if there is anything that prevents it from booting. Another method to get a clean operating system is to use the option Erase all content and settings in the system settings of your Mac. This option is available in macOS Monterey or Ventura and later versions based on Mac M1, M2 or Intel Mac with the T2 security chip. For any Mac without the T2 chip, use the previously described method. Before you reset the system, it is strongly recommended to create a backup in case anything goes wrong. To clean the operating system, with the example of macOS Ventura, open System Settings. Go to the General tab and click on Transfer or Reset. Then choose Erase all content and settings. The system will ask you for your account password. Type the password, then click Unlock and continue to proceed. After that, you will see a warning window saying that all your data will be erased. Click Erase all content and settings to confirm it. As a result, the computer will restart several times and you will finally see the Activate Mac window. When the activation is successful, click on the Restart button. When the computer boots again, you will see the welcome screen. At this stage, you will be able to set up your operating system as you would for a new device, or just shut down and leave it as it is so that another user can complete the configuration process if you have reset the computer for a new owner. Well, summing up, today we have explored several ways of reinstalling macOS. This could be either a system reset or a complete reinstallation. The installation process is pretty easy and can be performed by users who don't possess any advanced skills as long as they follow instructions for each step. Always remember to back up your stuff before you proceed with system reinstallation or reset. This may help you to avoid losing important files. Clean system installation can help to fix various issues in the operation of your Mac, improve its performance, and provide a fresh and clean system to work with. However, before you proceed with system installation, it is recommended to clean it first. This might help to fix the problem. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.